Hey, it's Ravenclaw Girl 29, and I know I look terrible today, but just so you know that. So we find out who the 12th Doctor was today, and actually, I don't have BBC, um, so I had to call my friend Katie, and she actually put her phone on speakerphone and then put it up to a television so I could hear, uh, the program, so, um, yeah, that's how much I wanted to find out when it happened. But it is Peter Capaldi, I think that's how you say his name. And, yeah, I am just really excited about this. Uh, I think Mr. Tardis actually said that he was his main choice. And I did not expect that. And so many people um, in my group of friends were all expecting Andrew Scott, who plays uh, Moriarty in Trilla. But Peter Capaldi... I think he, he was a good choice. Um, he played Copernicus in um, The Fires of Pompeii and John Rivia in Torchwood. And actually, I didn't. I, I mean, he did a good job, but I really hated his character in uh, Torchwood, so that threw me off a little bit. But he did so good in Fires of Pompeii. It's kind of um, ironic because it's the same episode Karen Gillian was in, who she came back to to play um, Amy, of course, but he did so good, and he was just so sassy and quick and had such good chemistry with um, David Tennant. It was so much fun to watch, and so, yeah, as I um, am thinking about it more and more, I'm just really excited. I hear a lot of people complaining that he's too old, but no, he's not. <laughs> I mean, the first Doctor were all really elderly. And, um, I'm really glad they went for a more mature actor, because I, mean, I love David Tennant, and I love Matt Smith, um, and I do like the fact that they were so young, because, of course, being a 20-year-old girl, I got to fawn over them, but I'm really glad they, uh, went back to an older actor that would have more dignity and, um, just... A completely different, and I'm really hoping since they did go for an older doctor that that will mean we won't have any more love interests in the TARDIS for a while, because oh gosh, that bugged me. I mean, I liked some of them. Like I know a lot of people hate her, but I did really like Rose. But I like it so much better when the companions are just companions. Uh, lately, it's been like every doctor has had their companions has have kissed on at least once, um, most of the time in the first episode that they're in, and so, um, I'm, I'm glad that they went for a more older fact, and so many people are just like, oh, uh, we are hoping for a woman doctor, we're never gonna have a woman doctor, let it go, uh, they put that out there, but I, I don't want a woman doctor, I mean, I'm all for a strong females in media, but I like it better when the doctor's a man and the companion's female, or there's, like, a cast of, you know, mixed genders in the credits. I, I could never see a female doctor. I don't think it would work. Uh, so, yeah, that's my two cents, and just congratulations, Peter. I'm, I can't wait to see you. I'm really wondering if Probably won't be, but I'm wondering if he's going to be in the 50th anniversary, because uh, a lot of people are just like, um, it's going to be another Three Doctors special, but it's been kind of implied that Chris is not going to be there, which is too bad, because I do, I mean, Chris Eccleston is probably my favorite Doctor, uh, but he just didn't like the show like the rest of the fan, uh, the rest of the cast did. And it's been said that he's not going to be in there. So I'm wondering if, um, even though he technically hasn't been introduced as the Doctor yet, if it's going to be him, Matt, and David. And that, that'd be interesting. I'd like to see, you know, the next Doctor be in a, a special before he's actually introduced. I think that'd be really really cool, but, um, it probably won't happen. Uh, 
that's all, like that's all I have to say. Um, I can't wait. I am so so excited and just can't wait till November. <laughs> all right, bye. Peace out, bro.